Hello, it's Paul here in RHSI Belfield in Offaly. I'm just showing you what we do with our dahlias here. So we grow loads of different dahlias, some are from seed, we have a few name varieties. But at the end of the year, we dig up some and we leave an awful lot in the ground because digging them up is an awful long, uh, laborious process. So not everybody wants to do. So what we do is actually leave them, chuck them back, and I'm going to show you that in a minute or two. But we do dig up a couple. So first of all, let me show you how we dig them up. So we'll go here in a minute. Okay, so you can see this dahlia here. The frost has been the last few nights. Um, we had a really cold morning here. It was about minus two or three degrees. It finished the plant off. There's still a small bit of growth down below, but to be honest, and there is the odd flower, it's finished. Uh, its time is up, and it's now time that we actually take up this dahlia, or as I say, leave it in the ground. But this one I'll show you taking it up. So get your fork, uh, don't get too close to it, and try to dig it up as best you can, and give it a shake. And you'll be able to see, uh, when you dig it up, the tuber. Now this dahlia was actually a seedling. So I grew this from seed this year. I put it here because I like the dark foliage ones. I'm trying to grow all them together. So this was only a seedling. So this tuber is all that's been created in the course of one growing season. Um, it looks pretty good, it looks pretty healthy. So what we do with this, if you want to store them indoors, is I'll actually get that now. I'll cut it at about the height of my fist, roughly. Uh, chop it to about that stepped away and then I'll leave them for a few days upside down and that way it'll allow the water that's in them to drain out and then after about three or four days like that I'll turn them this way around I'll put a damp compost but not a very wet compost around them and I'll keep them ever so slightly moist over the winter I won't let them totally get bone dry but I don't water them maybe only once every month or so just so they don't get totally bone dry and that then should be a fine tube or well stored, protected from the frost in somewhere like a shed or a polytunnel if you have one, um, and it should be absolutely fine until the next spring. And let me show you the other method that we do too as well. So this dahlia, like the one behind, uh, all the foliage is blackened, its time is up. Um, there's a little bit of growth, but in another couple of days, another frost, it'll be gone. So a bit like before, we cut it here. This one is gonna be kept in the ground, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. Cut it to about the height of your fist or so, so leave a little bit of stem, but we chop all of that away. We just leave that to the side, chop away as much as you possibly can, uh, and that then uh, will expose the plant. The tuber is there. If you feel down, you can actually feel the tuber. There's a small bit of it, but we don't uh, worry about that. What we now do is we use these. Uh, we have loads of these cloches in the garden. Um, these are plastic, you can get bell ones, but uh, they're totally fine, or you can get grass ones, I should say, uh, but they're totally fine, the plastic ones. Um, and what we do here, not just put this over them to protect them, that would protect them, but that doesn't protect them from the cold. So to protect them from the cold, over here, I have loads of dried leaves, and this time of year, I collect all the dried leaves I possibly can, and we fill the cot with dried leaves, and then we get the whole cloche and put it over the dahlia like that and that's all we do. We leave it until about next March, April time and we take it away and then the new growth comes up. And that does two things, protects from the water, the bell cloche, and then the leaves actually protect it from the cold. So it's like a blanket and an umbrella over it and it'll keep it dry and warm and the tuber should be totally fine next spring without doing any digging at all. 